The sun out today, our temperatures were feeling at least a little bit warmer, although we did stay mostly in the 50s today, and we are expecting above freezing temperatures tonight, so we will not be as cold as early this morning. Still kind of chilly, though. Finally, we will make it to near 70 tomorrow, and then we have another weak front moving in Sunday night into Monday. But most of this upcoming week will actually be above average for our temperatures, and it feels like it's been so long since we made it into the 70s. Like, I think we'll touch 70 in a lot of spots tomorrow, but actually it was only 10 days ago on uh, February 11th that we were looking at temperatures around 75. We had 75 two days in a row where we had those highs earlier. It just feels like a long time because we've been in this cold snap. So pretty out there today. Our temperature is still in the 50s and our temperatures north of the lake pretty much the same thing. In fact, Bogalusa saying 60 degrees. Most of us in the 50s, though, and here were the lows early this morning. Hard freeze for those of you on the North Shore is what you woke up to and pretty close to freezing south of the lake. You might have noticed some frost and ice even on the South Shore. Tomorrow, our afternoon highs today were in the upper 50s to about 60 degrees. And then again, we'll jump by about 10 degrees for tomorrow. South Shore temperatures this evening though we will be getting into the 40s and then we'll kind of bottom out right there in the lower to middle 40s and we won't get too much colder than that north of the lake i have temperatures mainly in the 30s but again staying mostly above freezing now 37 that's right on the line where you might begin to see a bit of frost so that might be something you want to keep your plants protected for just one more night if you want to be on the safe side but i think that our temperatures will probably not touch freezing in a lot of spots even north of the lake so tonight we'll say 30s to 40s so still chilly, but not as cold as what we've been seeing. And then tomorrow, look at this. Kind of strange to see that in the forecast after a week of wintry weather, some wintry precipitation, some ice on the roads, all kinds of stuff, hard freezes, light freezes. And then finally tomorrow, we'll just have a mix of sun and clouds. And here's why in the upper atmosphere, you can see that horizontal uh, flow with our upper winds that will bring our temperatures up a little bit. And we'll finally get some southeast winds tomorrow, bringing our moisture in and bringing temperatures again up a touch. We get a weak front with this trough of low pressure on Monday, but not as strong as what we've been seeing. And then look at this once again, this horizontal what we call zonal flow to allow us to warm up at the middle of the week again. So tomorrow I think we'll jump to 70. Then we'll stay in the 60s for highs M Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday we jump to 73 and then we may get another front, but Friday might be the coldest. By the way, if you're concerned about those temperatures over in Texas, Houston temperatures will be in the 40s for lows most of this week in the next coming five days or so highs in the 60s warming up. Finally, they get to touch about 70 by Wednesday farther north around Dallas. These temperatures will be mostly 40s for lows, but some 30s a couple of the nights. So still cold for those without power over in the northern part of the state for sure. Looking at our precision cast, here's tomorrow's forecast. Clouds and sun overhead, warmer near 70. Should be a lovely Sunday, especially after our cold snap. If you do enjoy the warmer weather, this is Monday morning. Notice a couple of showers with this next front, but just not a whole lot of rain. This is Monday morning, few clouds, maybe a stray shower, but again, not expecting a whole lot of rain. If anything, maybe a tenth of an inch, two tenths of an inch, something like that. And then we'll be clearing skies on Monday with temperatures in the 60s. Tuesday morning will be the coldest in the 30s. 30s to 40s, but again, probably above freezing even north of the lake by then. And you can see those much more moderate temperatures. In fact, above average temperatures at the middle of the week with another cool down coming by Friday.